The coin gun is one of the most powerful weapons in Terraria, if you can afford it, of course. It's famously the most powerful gun in the entire game, as long as you're willing to spend 7.5 platinum per second just to fire it. However, what I'm trying to get at here is this. How much energy would it actually take to launch the platinum coin at that speed, and how much damage would that actually do in real life? Thankfully, unlike bullets, it's actually possible to calculate the weight of a platinum coin as well as its speed, and therefore we can calculate how much energy it has. And let's just say that it's a bit more than you might expect. First, how much does a platinum coin weigh? Pixel measurements in Terraria are very simple, as one pixel is simply one-eighth of a block, or one-fourth of a foot across, since one block is two feet. You can check this by dropping a platinum coin on the ground. And yes, a single coin is like, over one foot across, but whatever, it's Terraria. The problem is that platinum coins aren't always the same thickness. When you drop them on the ground, they never line up perfectly with the camera, unlike every other coin. When I initially calculated the weight in my short, I chose to calculate them as 2 pixels thick, but this has been criticized since the gold coin I used as reference may be seen as some to be 4 pixels thick, given that I counted the outline on the face as well. The coin sprites shot out the coin gun aren't even consistent too, as they share the same size for every coin, but they're the closest we'll get. This means we'll benchmark the coin as 3 pixels thick, except for the top and bottom rows, which are just 1 pixel thick. I'm not gonna bore you with the math, but basically this means this coin is 120 cubic pixels, and that much pure platinum would weigh around 1,130 kilograms. That's about the weight of a small car, just over one metric ton. As for velocity, that's much easier. I already made an entire video on the process, but basically, velocity is just the amount of pixels traveled by a projectile in one tick. One block is actually 16 pixels in this case due to some techno voodoo, so it can easily translate velocity to feet per second by multiplying by 7.5. The coin gun with platinum coins has 28 velocities, since the coins have a velocity multiplier of x2, so the speed is 210 feet per second, or 64 meters a second. That's roughly 230 kilometers an hour, or 143 miles an hour. Now we just need to find the energy. To find the energy of a platinum coin traveling at 64 meters a second, we just need to plug it into our favorite kinetic energy equation. Working that out gets us to around 2.3 million joules of energy. So, how much is 2.3 million joules? Well, it's about 550 dietary calories or kilocalories. It doesn't seem like that much energy, as some chocolate bars or coke can probably have that much energy, but it's a lot when it's released all at once. Put more simply, if you're standing still and a 15,000 pound school bus hit you at highway speed, around 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour, that would be around 2.6 million joules. So, imagine getting run over by a school bus at highway speed, 7 times a second. Wouldn't that hurt? No wonder this thing is crazy powerful. But the effect is not just limited to whatever the gun is aiming at. As the Apple Man once said, every force is an equal and opposite reaction, meaning that you gotta deal with recoil. Considering that you're accelerating this one ton object at 200 km an hour in one tick, or just 1 60th of a second, you're gonna have to deal with recoil that many would consider to be significant. Definitely enough to break your arm off, or honestly, maybe enough to send you flying. And the amount of gunpowder that this would need to be used to make this happen, mm, might as well be a cannon at this point. Oh well, the Terrarian seems to be handling it pretty well, as expected for a demigod like itself. Hello, if you enjoy these types of analysis whatevers, please consider subscribing as only 7% of my viewers are subscribed. Here's some other content as well. Thank you for watching, and good day and goodbye.